Hey everybody, Sean here with DTF Tech Talk. I own Hometown Hype Custom Apparel in Franklin, Pennsylvania. So I've had a few people reach out and be like, Sean, what the heck are you doing? You're not posting any videos and you're a poo-poo head. You can't read good. And fair enough. Honestly, I just like, I have not had very much to talk about because I've been having like no issues, right? And I think I've like got this thing on lockdown and I found like a, a standard process that works for me and I don't have any issues, right? So I don't have many issues to talk about. I did post a video of me changing my encoder strip, but anyway, I wanted to just talk about a clear design flaw in my mind of the oddly two head DTF printers. Now I think the, the format's a little different for like the four head printers or the five head printers. So this is specifically referencing the printers that have the same chassis is my printer here, okay? And I've mentioned this before and I, I, I just can't overstate how much my printing experience has changed since altering this teeny tiny little thing, okay? I went from having constant issues, constantly having to battle with print head problems and bad nozzle checks to like it just working as intended just by changing this one thing, okay? And like I said, I've mentioned this before, that one thing is this, putting the white ink tank here so it has extra elevation, okay? So previously, my white ink tank was, along with all the others, it was right here, okay? And the problem that I came to found through very hard-won information and experience, right, and struggling for months and months and months with this printer is that when the white ink lines, they would go down here and they would go in here, right? And then the return line for the white circulation system would come in this one. So it'd go right into here. If you look where those holes are, that, that, those ink lines had to travel, sorry, had to travel uphill to get back to the printer head, okay? Just that little bit of having the ink having to travel uphill made the resistance on the white ink lines so much more difficult for the printer to get ink, right? Especially the white ink. It made it, made it so much harder for the printer to get white ink because it was basically like, it was having to work really hard to get the ink into the system, okay? So in my mind, that's a design flaw, right? Th those, those holes should be higher so that they are either equal with or slightly higher than the elevation of the, the white ink reservoir, which you can see, like that white ink reservoir right there, right? They should, the ink should not have to travel uphill to get to the print heads. And I mean, I understand the concept of siphons. However, clearly there's something else that works. Clearly you want more downward pressure. Additionally, if you're still, if, you're, if you do this and you elevate your white ink, I think if you increase the elevation more, it's actually going to put more downward pressure on the ink in the lines, which is going to be, make it easier for the print head to access that ink, right? And your dampers to access that ink. So if you guys are having problems with your oddly printer that's similar to mine, or, you know, that if your printer has this chassis, right, which tons of them do, right? I, I don't believe oddly makes this chassis, right? They don't do metalworking. They buy these wholesale from a company that just makes the chassis and then they put the printer together inside of it, okay? So lots of these printers have this chassis which are intended to work, you know, with, with the ink going through those holes. I could just drill new holes right here, but honestly, this is working fine. And honestly, I'd like to, I like the increased elevation of it. So like I said, ever since doing that and changing that one little thing, right? completely different experience working with the DTF printer. Everything just works as intended. I can get ink pulled through the printer. So like I, I've mentioned in previous videos that my load ink cycles, right? Where so like when you go into uh, print, you print software and you go here and you click down here and then you do like head to load ink, right? I would do that and I run it for 30 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever, and I come back and there'd be no white ink. It pulled zero white ink, right? So that suction was not strong enough to overcome that uphill incline of the ink um, for the print head. So just by elevating the white ink tank in my ink lines, it's no problem. If I run a 10 second loading, 
that that conversation is just full of lightning. So I just wanted to re-mention this because I feel like this could help a lot of people because so many people have this specific chassis in their printer. And I'm pretty sure they all have the white ink lines going through right there. So if you guys have that, just lift your, could do what I did, right? You just kind of remap the line. Set the white ink here, remap the line through there, right? It works great. So hope this helps somebody. I hope, uh, I hope someone finds this useful. So that's all I wanted to say. Have a great day. Goodbye.